We begin this morning tracking breaking news out of Baltimore, Maryland this morning. Major breaking news here overnight. This massive cargo ship, approximately a thousand feet long, crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing the entire bridge, the whole thing, to collapse into the river below. Baltimore's mayor says upwards of seven people still missing right now. This all started to unfold around 1.40 this morning. There were cars on the bridge at the time. Rescue operations continue right now. Yeah, this bridge, bigger than the Braga Bridge in Fall River. Many of you familiar with that bridge. So officials held a news conference just a few minutes ago. They say they received multiple 911 calls of people who had fallen into the <sighs> water. Kristen Burnell joining us live right now in studio with more details. The Baltimore Fire Chief says two people have been saved from the water after the key bridge collapsed earlier this morning. Right now, authorities are continuing their search for up to seven people and says that number could change as it is a very large incident. Now, we continue to work to get more video of the initial collapse, but this shows the aftermath as a cargo ship hit the bridge at around 1.40 this morning. The vessel appears to have hit one of, one of the supports of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing the roadway to break apart and fall into the water. Video shows remnants of the ship's steel frame visible in the water. Now, as we mentioned, it's a 1.6 mile four lane bridge that ext extends over the river, a critical heavily traveled structure in the Baltimore area. Officials providing an update just moments ago as an investigation is underway. This continues to be a search and rescue operation. It continues to be a very dynamic operation with multiple local, state and federal resources involved. The governor of Maryland has declared a state of an emergency, and now this is a developing story. We'll continue to keep you updated throughout the morning as we work to learn new information. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.